Hey everyone, so by this time everyone will be claiming their free Bennett, one of the craziest and one of the best supports in Genshin Impact history. It's crazy to know that this game is almost like three years out and people are billing him wrong. So one of the biggest issues I see a lot of people are making with Bennett, just because you see he gives this attack bonus here, doesn't mean that you have to build him with attack. In fact, you don't have to build him with any attack at all in his artifacts. How Bennett buffs works, it is based on on his level and it's based on his weapon and also it's based on the talent of this um, skill so generally majority of people will want to build him with the highest base attack sword as you see right now i'm using a skyward blade here it has 608 but you probably wonder why i'm not using this one here with 674 and i'll touch on that so normally for artifacts i usually go for the noblesse oblige it increases his elemental burst by 20 percent which I, honestly i shouldn't really care about it but it also increases the entire party's attack by 20 percent for 12 seconds and if you don't think that this is his best insult if you look at this here the duration of his burst is 12 seconds so once you have enough energy you could keep this buff up for 100 percent of the time so when building bennett do not put any attack percentage well i, I have an attack over here normally i don't use an attack here but it's my only noblest piece here in fact you could build him however you want but putting attack percentage on these here will not give you any bonus attack buff from his buff so generally, I always recommend players to go for a energy recharge sands, a pyro goblet, and a crit rate or a crit damage circlet. And honestly, let me not try to overcomplicate this too much. You don't have to go for crit rate, you don't have to go for pyro as you see I'm going for attack over here because it's my only other noblest piece here and I'm using energy recharge. I would say that energy recharge is a must for him here and for the goblet and the circlet you could run HP because his healing is based on the HP that he has and the artifacts does affect that. So one of the biggest issues I see a lot of people are making despite it being the sword, it is this here. You see this figure here of energy recharge like even this is low for me but the reason why i have it that low is because i'm running a mono pyro team and i have so much pyro energy coming in that he has his burst up for 100 percent of the time with bennett generally what you want you know what i'll just showcase it to you all right so look exactly what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna do a bennett burst into one of this here let him do his little stuff all right so you saw I did my rotation here. Now when I do switch back to Bennett, what I do not want to do is have to go back and funnel back energy to him. That is one of the biggest DPS loss in any team that you're using Bennett when he's not the on-field character. So I always tell players, build a lot of energy recharge on him. You do not ever want to switch on to Bennett and have to do any type of funneling of energy to him to get his burst up. Whenever you switch to Bennett, you want to be able to have this burst up. So when coming to the weapons, you know, <laughs> there will be so much data and so much statistics, so much types of sheets. Bro, it does not matter. Just pick any sword you want. Once you have a comfortable energy recharge of around 250 to 300, I would recommend around 300 for teams that doesn't have any other pyro unit in it or if any of the other members of the team is not using a favonia sword or any type of favonia's weapon to say i would say aim for around 300 energy recharge and the easiest way to do that is to just use our energy recharge sword now yes by using the highest base attack sword you will get more damage but bro what's 1000 more damage in our all that is doing like 50,000 to 100,000 damage it's not that much in fact majority of my my showcases i use favonia sword on bennett and i have zero problems with it because having his burst up with a low base attack sword is much better than not having his burst up and having to funnel energy and costing you like five to six seconds loss of dps just to have his burst up now bennett does have a very high burst multiplier here and you could take advantage of it if you like you can make him into a dps honestly and if you would like to do that i would recommend the mid splitter reforged this is one of his best sword in fact it is his best sword in this game it has the highest base attack same as the aquila favonia it has crit damage and this elemental buff here is just crazy but if you don't have a sword like this and you have the primordial jade cutter that's just as good or if you want to do a big nuke showcase you could just use something like the iron sting or the z-force moonlight even this one too it will work because it has a high elemental mastery wow. 
wow, my internet went for like three hours. So here I am now late at night to finish this video. So I want to get into the discussion of, well, this here, Constellation 6. But before that, let's just talk about the other constellations he has. Honestly, he doesn't really need any constellations. That's what everyone says, but I would say at least get him to C1. You see, without C1, the character that you are trying to buff, if they are under 70% HP, they will not get his attack buff. With C1, that removes that restriction. So whether or not if they have 1 HP, 100 HP, they will always get the attack bonus. C2 increases his energy recharge. C4 has something that no one ever uses. C5 is probably the stopping point for everyone. This will increase his burst level up by 3, so it increases the attack bonus ratio. And well, then we have Constellation 6. Now, <laughs> this is one of many players, even mine sometimes, biggest regret. Constellation 6 isn't really that bad to say, unless if you're maining some characters like Eula, like Razor. But honestly, majority of all the units we have nowadays, they don't get affected by that. And by that, what I mean, when you have Constellation 6 activated, it turns every normal attack that your character does within the buff into pyro damage. So when you're using him with a character like Eula, it basically takes away a majority of all her damage. But if you have characters like Zhao or Raiden Shogun, you will see that in their ultimate, it will state that it cannot be overridden. So if she does electro damage within her burst, she will not do any pyro damage when she pops her burst. Just like Zhao too, characters like Ayato, you will see that it will specifically indicate that their attacks will not be overridden. So much people want this to be removed from their account and Hoyaverse has yet to implement any feature to remove constellations. So if you activate this like me, but honestly I did not activate C6 and I could be unbothered by it. I updated to Sumeru last year and when I started up the game I had a C6 Bennett. I don't know how, but it's whatever. So if you're summoning in this banner here and you don't want the 5 star, I would say just to get one copy of Bennett here and then get his C1 from here and you'll be alright. But yeah, I think I covered like most of the important things that you need to know about Bennett. You level him up to 90 which I will one day because his attack bonus scales with base attack. So base attack is not this number here it's this number here and also you need to level up your weapon that you are using to level 90 because this base attack affects the attack bonus ratio four piece noblesse oblige is his best in slot artifact set also for some specific teams you could use this here so he could give some elemental mastery to the entire team get his energy around 250 to 300 and you'll be all right and if you think that i'm saying that this is not a good weapon for him it is it's just that He's a support unit. Rotations feel so much smoother when you have to switch to him and not have to funnel any energy on him to get his burst up. So if you can maintain his burst up with this weapon, go ahead. But like I said earlier, I have used him with Favonia Sword a lot and I have never had any issues with it even though it is one of the lowest base attack swords for him. It's not the best but it works. So yeah, that's my guide on Bennett. I hope it was helpful to you. Do you think that one day we might get a five-star version of him? <laughs> Hit the like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.